Hello and welcome to HTL. Today I'm going to be showing you automation tracks. Automation tracks are designed to control other tracks. They do this by altering controls. Controls are pretty much any element in an LMS supported track. For example, all the controls and effects all of the controls in the instrument plugin and all of the controls in the envelopes and LFO. To drag a control into an automation track simply hold down control click and drag to the track. To show you how this works I've prepared an example by going into my presets and selecting the TB303 preset It sounds like this. I'm going to add a speed LFO. The amount is all the way up and it is set to the 16th note. It now sounds like this. Firstly, I've added oscillator 1 to the automation track. I have set it to discrete progression and set it to go up in steps. I have selected oscillator 1 wave. I did this by holding down control and dragging into the automation track. When the automation track is unmuted it changes the wave of oscillator 1 as it is playing. <laughs> As you can see, it's changing as it's playing. You can also do this with the amount of LFO. I've held down control and dragged this into the automation track. This changes the amount of LFO as it is playing. Sometimes you will use cubic herm progression. This makes a curved progression rather than a solid abrupt change. This means the change flows As you can see, I've added the reso amount on the filter, which is a mood filter, to the track, and this changes subtly as the instrument is played. I can also change the amount of speed in an LFO, like so. This allows you to have a large amount of control over the instrument as the music is playing. I can also do it to the attack. The attack is the amount of time that the preset takes to reach its full sound. As you can see, I've dragged the attack control to the automation track and altered it once again using discrete progression. Finally, you can add effects to a preset. For example, this low pass. Drag any of the controls in effect, like the cutoff frequency, to the track, and this will alter the effect as it is played. For this I've used linear progression. This is a fixed steady transition to each point. With 
with all of the factors combined, you can control your instrument much more effectively than if you did it separately and without an automation track. I hope this tutorial helped you and I'll see you in the next one.